Roald Dahl's Dirty Beasts Narrated by Christopher The Crocodile No animal is half as vile as Crockywock the Crocodile. On Saturdays he likes to crunch six juicy children for his lunch. And he especially enjoys just three of each, three girls, three boys. He smears the boys to make them hot with mustard from the mustard pot. But mustard doesn't go with girls. It tastes all wrong with plaits and curls. With them what goes extremely well is butterscotch and caramel. It's such a super marvellous treat when boys are hot and girls are sweet. At least that's Crocky's point of view. He ought to know. He's out of view. That's all for now. It's time for bed. Lie down and rest your sleepy head. Shh, listen. What's that I hear? Galumphing softly up the stair. Go lock the door. Fetch my gun. Go on, child. Hurry. Quickly run. No, stop. Stand back. He's coming in. Oh, look. That greasy, greenish skin. The shining teeth. The greedy smile. It's Crockywock, the crocodile. The lion. The lion just adores to eat a lot of red and tender meat. And if you ask the lion what is the much tenderest of the lot, he will not say a roast of lamb, or curried beef or devilled ham, or crispy pork or corned beef hash, or sausages and mutton mash. Then could it be a big plump hen? He answers no. What is it then? Oh, lion dear, could I not make you happy with a lovely steak? Could I entice you from your lair with rabbit pie or roasted hare? The lion smiled and shook his head. He came up close and said, The meat I am about to chew is neither steak nor chops. It's you. The Scorpion You ought to thank your lucky star that here in England where you are you'll never find, or so it's said, a scorpion inside your bed. The scorpion's name is Stingling, a most repulsive, ugly thing and I would never recommend that you should treat him as a friend. His scaly skin is black as black, with armor plate upon his back. Observe his scowling, murderous face, his wicked eyes as lack of grace. Note well his long and crinkly tail, and when it starts to swish and flail, Oh gosh, watch out, jump back, I say, and run till you're a mile away. The moment that his tail goes swish, he has but one determined wish. He wants to make a sudden jump and sting you hard upon your rump. What is the matter, darling child? Why do you look so tense and wild? Oh, mummy, underneath the sheet, there's something moving on my feet. Some horrid, creepy, crawly thing. Do you think it could be stingling? What nonsense, child? You're teasing me. No, I'm not, I'm not, it's reached my knee. It's going, going up my thigh. Oh, mummy, catch it quickly, try. It's on, it's on my bottom now. 